G'day guys, Greg here. Now, here I am in beautiful Balimba in Brisbane, and well, there's a place here called Barn Me, and guess what they sell? Barn Me's. <laughs> so I'm gonna whip in there and grab one of their Barn Me's and see what it's like. Now, Barn Me has got a 4.7 Google star rating. Let's whip on in, try their Barn Me, and see what star rating the old Gregor will give it. Let's go get one. All right, well, here we go. The Barn Me from Barn Me. <laughs> it costs $11 for the pork. I think it's got crackling on it. Anyway, let's suss it out. Oh, yum. All right, well, here we go. Oh, oh, it's wrapped in newspaper. But here it is. Oh, let me turn it around. Here we go. Mmm, doesn't that look good? I mean, that's the size of it there. It's a good hand size, and well, inside. Wow, look how much meat is on that. Wow, that looks like a ton of meat. Wow. We've got some, um, looks like parsley there. No, that'll be coriander. Well, I hope so. Uh, with some carrot underneath. And looks like, um, well, the mayonnaise that I seem to find on all these barn me rolls. Wonder what it is. Hmm. It's like a a real creamy homemade tasting mayo. It's really quite light and oily in flavour. And it's got this slight flavour of well probably the Maggi seasoning or um, like a soy sauce or something. Yeah it's not too bad. Now, they asked if I want a chilli on it, and of course I said yes, I do love a nice bit of spiciness on my barn mi. Anyway, I'm really enjoying the size of this, and the bread, again, feels really fresh, like all barn mi seem to. Inside the shop, they had a big sort of tray of fresh bread rolls, so um, it looked good. Anyway, let's see how good it is. Oh, let's first, let's see if there's any crackle on this. Uh, I think... Uh, this pork actually has got the skin left on it, so it's uh, the pork with the crackle built in, not sort of separate. Mm -hmm. Can be pretty tough. I have to watch out nowadays because, well, <laughs> I lost a filling last time I ate some of that uh, crackling. The crackling could be a little bit softer and lighter so it doesn't crack your teeth. Let's bite into this and hope I still got all my teeth left after I finished eating it. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. My, that is so fresh tasting. Mmm. It's just got this really nice, light, fresh flavour with just a hint of soy on there or the magic seasoning, whichever seasoning they use. It's not too strong. It really just adds that little bit of flavour to the roll. And you can see inside here, it looks like plenty of carrot there. And the chilli that they put on there, looks like it's pretty finely diced up. But really nice, and well, just leaving a really nice warmth in my mouth. The, oh, 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 mate! I just swallowed a chili. This bread roll is really nice and fresh and light and tasty too. Oh, 
I'd love to know where they get these bread rolls from. They're always so fresh and tasty. Mm. Just like this barn me is. Mm. Mm. How about I try some of this meat, see if it's got any flavour. Mm. Nice and tender. And it does have that, well, special flavour that the barn me has on it. Mmm, mate. I'm really enjoying this. Oh. Mm. I've just noticed under here, there's something that kind of looks sort of a brown something. Don't know what it is. It sort of tastes like a really weak tasting pate. It's got that sort of flavour about it. I don't know what it is. If you can enlighten me what it is, that'd be great. But it's very nice and it really does add to this barn meat. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that was a good piece of cracker lamb. Yum. I am really enjoying this. I wonder what score I'd give it out of five Gregos. Well, value-wise, $11. I mean, that seems to be how much they are. There was plenty of meat on it. There was, uh, well, the, probably the most meat I've had on any roll so far. There wasn't really a lot of vegetables on this, but not that I mind it. I mean, <laughs> I'd rather have more meat and veggies, that's for sure. But there seemed to be an excess of carrots on this one. Not a lot of coriander on there. And, well, I couldn't really see anything else on there other than that funny pate stuff. The chilli flavour, well, it was just a perfect heat. It really just gave it a really nice warmth and oh, mixed in with all those other flavours and oils and sauces. Really went well together. I really enjoyed it. Could this be my favourite barn me so far? <laughs> Maybe it is. So for that reason, I think this deserves... Well, I think it deserves that 4.7 star rating. It really is awesome. Mate, I'd like to give it a 4.8. And I think I will. I think it's really tasty. It tastes awesome. The crackling could be a little bit too hard in places. It could be a bit too much carrot on it. Uh, but whatever that pate stuff was and all the other ingredients blended together, man, it was tasty. And I'm really enjoying it. And it's a place I'd definitely come back to. So what's my recommendation? Well, if you're on Oxford Street at Balimba and you feel like a barn me, whip one up to barn me and try one of theirs. And if you do go there, tell them Greg sent you. I'm pretty sure they're going to have a clue because I had to write my name down on a piece of paper uh, so they could understand why I was filming inside their store. Very friendly staff. Awesome tasting barn me. If you're around Balimba, Whip on in, give it a go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I barn me it up. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen where the reviews are finger.